President Joe Biden will deliver his first primetime address to the nation since taking office tonight. The president is marking one year since the coronavirus was declared a worldwide pandemic. CBS 4's Kyler Henry has the latest from Capitol Hill. President Biden will mark the one year anniversary of the coronavirus pandemic by remembering nearly 530,000 American lives lost and looking ahead to the future. I'm going to launch the next phase of the COVID response and explain what we will do as a government and what we will ask of the American people. Wednesday, the White House announced the purchase of 100 million more vaccine doses, providing hope in the fight against the virus. I am ready to uh, get back to some normalcy. Students are starting to go back to school. Businesses are letting in more customers and states are lifting some restrictions. There is light at the end of this dark tunnel of the past year, but we cannot let our guard down now or assume that victory is inevitable. Financial help for millions of Americans is coming, with President Biden set to sign the nearly $2 trillion coronavirus relief bill Congress passed tomorrow. We can do big things, important things in this country. The new package includes an extension of unemployment benefits. Welcome news for the 712,000 people who filed new unemployment claims last week. That's 42,000 fewer new claims than the week before. I know people call this a stimulus package, but in so many ways, this has been about relief. People are just trying to survive. About 10 million people are unemployed right now, compared to about 6 million who were unemployed before the start of the pandemic. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill.